And if they're close enough, then it's easy to move the pink hook with the clump on the ground. Yes. If they're too far, then we have to drag the clump or come up with some other nonsense. Yes, absolutely. If we're light enough, we probably could. Um, we're eight meters off bottom. Do you want to come down another two? You good with that? Yep, absolutely. Winch, control van, please pay out two meters. Paying out. Okay, we'll keep an eye on the bottom to make sure we're not kicking up mud in the heave, but all good so far. Once we get close, yeah. we'll just have them pay out quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Do we, are, so are we going to back off when they do touchdown or no? We'll just stay and watch it. And we can stay. Can sit right here and yeah, watch it. That's fine. We'll just have to, I'll move the ship at the same time to lay the cable the way we want, hopefully. But actually, it should be still dragged in that direction. Yeah. Um, but we, we're seeing it's not really going to move that quickly. And it is kind of, it's almost like we need to lay it as it's, it definitely has this lay clearly because that's, you know, that's where it is. Yeah. So it should lay in that direction. Right. I don't know that moving the ship in that moment is actually going to do it'll, anything. It won't see it fast enough. Probably. Yeah. You can bring them down another two if you want. You ready for it? And then hold it there. Winch control van, please pay out two meters and hold. So we're kind of just eyeing it up here. So we could put in another five meter ship move right now. We won't see it anytime soon, yeah, but that'll but it'll it at that least, way yeah. and we'll land it when it's clear. Okay, as long as we're... Well, Atalanta is well clear, Herc's well clear. Yeah. I'm happy with that. You want yeah. to call that in? Yeah, good for that. As long as we're okay with where that's going to be. And we'll wait In which direction. Clear. So right now our heading is zero to five. Yep. I'm so fine with laying the extra cable this way. That's fine, as long as I don't go run into that. So Absolutely, yes. So what do we think, Z zero, one, five, slightly that way? Or yeah. is that going to pull away too? That's really splitting hairs, but I just don't want to land on that. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. You can go due north, we'll be fine. I'm looking in the sonar target. Yeah. They're staggered off each other a little bit. They are. So if you if we went north, but that might be a little too far this way to for the distance. Yeah. Six of one half dozen the other. I think yeah. it's all close enough here that it won't matter. Okay. Uh ten. Sure. Five meters zero one zero. How's that? Sounds great. Mm -hmm. Bridge nav. Can we step five meters bearing zero, one, zero? It's probably the limit of how far down we're gonna go. Yeah, thank you. Out of pumping the bottom. Yep. And so that distance, that is five meters there. Uh, we're kind of roughly in this, <coughs> yep. in this region. My only concern is then what you were saying about the, the length of cable that we have. Plenty, yeah, look, I see. Yeah, as long as it's past this, as long as it's past the existing one, we're happy. Passed in which direction? There's Sorry. a bit of give on that cable because okay. it's all slinkied up. Okay. Yeah, true. Yeah. So five at zero one zero will put us roughly on that where that landing target is, and in relation to where we are here, I think we'll be just a little bit further that way. Yeah. Um, when we get in the right spot, I'm going to ask for the winch to pay out five meters. Once we're happy that it's clear and in the happy spot, that'll yeah. stop it from being picked up. Roger. That makes sense. We're starting to get into the mud kick up zone, but not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, definitely no more payout until we land it. Yeah. Have them come up a meter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winch control van, please haul in one meter. Mm. 
That's the wrong way. It's not. It's not. It's flipped. It's, yeah, the, it got me the first time when I looked at it pan out. The wind strum looks like it's turning the wrong way. Oh, it's, it's coming out the bottom. Bottom, bottom's pulling yeah. 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 Gotcha. Oh, no. I was standing next to it for an hour. And <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Wasn't paying attention which way it was turning. <laughs> Package is 2,000 meters above us right now. <laughs> Sky package. Sky package. So it feels like now we're waiting for that five meter move, eh? Yes. We are, yeah. Yeah, it's done. It's done its original move. That's right. Uh, as much as it ever Yeah, much as it will. The package yeah. didn't move the full way, but it would it would take forever. So, I mean, we could, no, okay. depending on how this five goes, we could call more and know that we we're going to lower it, it at the, at yeah, while fine. we're... Um, Once the clump we can lower we're going to keep paying out. Like, yeah. That's fine. So, we'll, we got the C print, C king. Yeah. Because if it, even if the ship finishes its move, yeah. that brings the clump three meters past where we want it to lay. We want to lay the clump five meters and then go a bit more. So five meter more yeah. move is fine, but not ten. Yeah, I think do that. So what do you want, another five? Another five, zero, one, zero. Roger. Bridge nav. I know this is still moving, and that's... Still fine. One after. more step, five meters, bearing zero, one, zero. Thank you. So, while we're waiting, we land it, we unclip it. What's our, are we standing off while they haul in for a bit? After we transfer the hook. Are we picking up something else? We're picking up the one right next to it. Oh, okay. Do we want to, so, we just did a five meter ship move, but we're going to want to lay more than five meters of cable That's on the ground, right? That's what that five meter ship move was for. We've already put in the one to move it to the spot. You yeah. just put in the one to lay the five meters cable it's, after. Yeah, but it's still, that won't even get the clump down because it's a seven meter. We could do an, right. another five as they pay out. It's, I think that the angle of it from the ship will, should make it not go straight down. Yeah, it's, I mean, the ship is way, It's quite far away. I think if we let, if we sat still for a while, it would, the, 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 this package would still be going north, um, just very slowly. So I don't know. It's kind of a question on what that angle is. Good so, problem. I think we can probably put it down right now. Is ready for that? I agree. Any reason not yep. to? Okay. Nope. No reason not to put it yeah. down and just keep paying out. Okay. I'm going to get him to go up uh, seven meters. I'll Winch, just control here. van. What's that? I'll just keep the ROV right here. Yeah. Please pay out six meters. Roger, paying out six meters. Touchdown. Touchdown. Untouchdown. 
Oh, not too bad. Yeah. There okay. we go. Let's see where. Oh no. No, 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 no. Keep going. There you yeah. go. All right. Can she hook the wire back in the jaws of the hook? Yeah. Um, okay, there, I'll stop. I, I can move it further if you want, um, but we or we could keep lowering. I think we're not getting any heave. Let's wait for the ship to move a little more, and we'll pay out more. Okay. This is where patience is the yeah, yeah. name of the game. Yeah, because we, we not, we're not worried about as long as throw another meter on it or something. Yeah. Less they pay out now, the better, the less likely it's going to get wrapped around the connector or whatever. Right, yeah. I'll just watch that heave. Seems like it'll be all right, as long as we don't get anything too big. I don't think you can open the gate because it needs pull on both sides. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm kidding. But the you can get it wrapped around the ODI. Ah, uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's just a um, a dust cap. Yeah. I'm going to hold off on dropping any targets here until we get good positioning with the vehicles. Sure. As long as ONC is okay with that. It's almost starting to lift off again. Yeah. I get them to go at one meter. Yeah. Winch control van, pay out one meter. They're paying out. It would be nice to see that cable move away from yeah, right, right on top of it. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, it's I can now call. It's wrapped around for sure. Right. Whee. I can have us move further. Yeah. Another. Um, how far is it till the southern cable point or anywhere along that track line? From here oh, to here? Yeah. Pretty far. Uh, yeah, 15. 17 meters. Okay. I think we have enough room to do another five meters. Do you want to go? Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. yeah, do it. I think you should move like. 30 meters, and then, and then just lay it as needed. Okay, yeah. sure. I think it's great. Great big moves. Yeah, okay. let's do it. Okay. Also, if the moves are like pretty close to north, our, well, our equipment's kind hold of hold on. It's, clear. it's okay. The ship will move 50 meters, and it the cable will pay out and lay down five. So yeah. it's I hear you. The yeah. danger with that is we got that Atalanta is going to move that same amount. Oh yeah, we got an Atlanta attached to us. Yeah. So uh, how far is Atalanta from the package right, right. now? Stand by one. 20. 20 at that weird angle. Yeah. So if we do 10 meters northish, then that might be enough. 10 That's north. 10 north. It should be okay. It should be okay. Good? Yeah. Bridge nav. Step 10 meters bearing north. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's a weird gotcha with that thing. Okay, well, yeah. while we do that, we're going to want to watch that we're not. T tugging yeah, totally. and dragging, so Just, uh, watch yeah. the, the payout. Tell him to be, be ready, ready. Yeah. He looks like he is. Winch control van, payout one meter. That's that wrapping around I'm talking about there. It's already. Yeah, yeah, around. we're wrapped on something. But. Winch control van, payout one more meter. <laughs> more and more, Just I pay out the bargain. Uh, Great. Please repeat, one more meter. Affirmative, total two. Confuse the shit out of him. Yeah. yeah, that's how you keep him on his toes. Yeah. <laughs> one plus one, guys, come on. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying, Josh, and then that's good. But then the two wire thing comes in, it's kind of a. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about that with Dirk. We were thinking about putting the clump 50 meters above instead of seven, and, and with AJ. And yeah, talked it through a lot, and it makes sense a lot if you don't have the second vehicle here hanging out. Yeah. You can manage the tether differently, and yeah, it's pretty hard not to get all snarled up in there unless you move the ship a lot. Yeah. No, I hear ya. Yeah. This is not the most deluxe platform for two wire ops. Deluxe, you know? like the deluxe burgers I can't see. Just like those ones, yeah. Yeah. It's really a shame. They're quite beautiful. I could describe them if you want. I can taste them. I just can't see them. <laughs> somebody's can got them? A, somebody's got to feed it to me. <laughs> You can't, can't see it <laughs> enough to hold it. <laughs> it's 
Can we maybe do a little tilt down on our Herxus? Are we inching sure. over that way? Nope. Uh, no, we've been pretty stable, I think. Okay. Seems to keep going lower in my frame. That's great. Thanks. What are those things about four meters apart? Uh, sure. It's a number. It is 2,500 meters deep. So if you took that level of accuracy up to the surface, you would be the world champion at darts. Yeah. Not bad, eh? It looks like Atalanta and the beacon are still around the same depth, according to USBL. Roger. So once we're comfortable that the weight is not going to land on this thing, can we just pay it out and we know that we just are watching the cable above it to make sure that yeah. doesn't lay on the stuff? I'd like the cable to be straight-ish between clump and hook, just so it doesn't keep doing this loopy thing, you know? We all have wants. <laughs> Fair enough. I would like that too. I don't know if it will. Thinking more about it, Josh, it's not just the two body, it's the aft entry of the tether on Herc instead of coming out the top. Yeah. So you can pull it up pretty tight. If you have, even with the two body, if it came out the, like a TMS, you can pull it up pretty tight. But you get the weird dynamics with the aft Coming out of the stern, maybe the it's same. really weird. I mean, it's it, it's, yeah. the, the OE's got a tether coming out the back, and the same thing, it's, got, it's just a clump weight. But this one we can actually fly a little bit. Um, so I was just kind of copying in my head what I what we usually do with it. But. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I agree that the at this depth the five meter moves aren't really. No, it's no, but it's gotta be way big. Yeah, but we'd have to just do it all quick and then. But there's uh, there's not too much in the I don't know the way of the north. What? It's a shame we can't. Yeah, never mind. Lay it to the northwest, yeah. but that's getting into our. Seems to be working though. It's yeah, working, it's enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're just gotta there. be more patient than normal. And it, normally you have to be patient, so this is extra stupid patient. Yeah. Winch, control van, please pay out one meter. Roger, paying out one meter. It's okay, my middle name is Patience. Patience and My zero. first name is Hurry Up. Patience Zero. Hurry up, Patience Tedarenko. No, last name Zero. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah. bang on, Trevor. Thank you. I think they're going to want to pay. We, yeah. Mm. Pay out more. <laughs> pay out more, I think. Come on. Where's your sense of adventure? Yeah, Ready? yeah. Winch control van, pay out one meter. <laughs> 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 this is working? Yeah. It's laying down. How's Atlanta? It's creeping. I don't care if the clump gets all looped up, do I? No. Cool. Good enough. Um, um, I'm yeah. going to get them to stop heaving that thing then, so I'll get them to pay out three. Winch control van, pay out three meters. Now, can we t turn Atalanta to the west and lateral south? Fine by me. Uh, How do we feel about I that? I don't, well, yes we can. I'm Spock. As long as you think we're not getting too north with it. I don't know, I'm just looking at the nav screen and I feel like if we go in right now and pick that hook and hook it yeah. onto the other yeah. one and get out of here, we're fine. Okay, yeah. I don't know, what do you think, Trevor? It's fine, yeah, I think. We could optimize, but I don't know that we need to. Yeah, as long as we do it quick, I think. Because I'm yeah. just, so I saw it's like 15 meters out here. There yeah. you go, in that uh, Can you start Atalanta. getting a little closer there, Dave? Yeah, sure. I'm going to dial out this gain I threw in there. Okay. Raj. You want your um, mid, mid lights on again? Yeah, yeah. probably. Oh, yep. Yeah. So you guys saw what these pink hooks look like? You got to press them on both sides. The back side's a yeah, nope, I was there for the release. single side. Come oh on. yeah, that was a good one. So, yeah. No more of those. Those are the best. Self-deploy. Self-deploy. Sounds like something would be good for Wally. Yep, that's that's the classic Wally technique. Let's get this switched over by lunch. 
What? Get all the fun stuff in. No pressure, eh? Hey, AJ, yeah. you cool if we just, uh, once we hook it in, we just reef up on it even if it ain't totally level? <laughs> Sorry, say again, reef not, up on not, what? Nothing, never mind. Just being a jerk. So I'm just, you know, I just want to, yeah. the yeah, tether between these two. need to come down. And then, uh, Josh needs to come down. Yeah. on, on the Atlanta? Yeah, you please. Ready? Coming down slow. Yeah, you got a 35 meter delta. I'm coming down. And and Atlanta's creeping up north. That's kind of like. They're, they're right beside each other. Yeah, they are. So I'm like, do we try to back him uh, south or? I'm not too worried about Okay. Real, uh, I'm not too worried about that. Roger. Yeah, I think you could probably come down to about 20, 28. There is the cable still there. The ship's still moving. Just but because of that distance. I'm not sure yeah. about the distance like so. Yeah, ship Roger. I'm and with the down, ship with moving. And I'm coming down with you. I think I'll go to about yeah, 30. You'll probably be steady. You're All right, keep cool. Keep going. Here we go. Looks like he's just picking up the clump a bit each time, eh? Maybe mm. a little bit. Yeah, it might be the... Uh, is with is the ship the moving away, the give it a... Maybe give it another meter yeah. out. Yeah. Winch control van, pay out one meter. Oh yeah, there it is. Thank you. Yeah. That's yeah, pick, just because that movement gonna of the ship's going to keep going. Winch control van, pay out one additional meter. Doesn't look like we're too looped around here. I think it cleared that itself. Yeah. How close do you want to be? Uh, a little closer, Dave. I got to reach all the way to that hook on the far side. Gotcha. And if you can, can you tip the camera up to keep that cable in view? Yeah. Just Give me one yeah, second. Yeah. Take your time. Do what you got to do. Okay. We got a 28 meter delta, Dave. Quick reset on the fly. Dave's call. Cable's twisting. Let me know when you're ready for the arm, Dave. Uh, give me one second. Roger. Yeah, there's no telemetry in that 322, is there? No termination, right? No. Good to go, bud. Roger. Yep. Uh, can I see the arm, please, Dave? Oh, Jesus, you want everything, don't you? <laughs> well, let me come full, full wide. Thank you. Pay out a little more. Which the control, pay out one meter. That, Roger, one meter. That twisty this is... This twist is taking up slack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love that. We'll pay out meters. So yeah. Feed into that put, twist. Put the spool on the bottom. I don't know why it's twisting like that. Because he unloaded it. The wire's going to have a different twist rate whether it's loaded or not. Uh, so when we pick up the other one, it'll just you come happy right there? Out. Yeah. You have to lift yeah. slow so Dave it doesn't never pull through. Right. Spin it so oh, much. Oh, I see. You better it'll just hockle. Yeah. Right, that? I see it. It won't break. It'll just hockle. Is this... Uh, eh, Can we eh, turn eh, that off? Oh, right. yeah. GFI sense? Yeah, I'll just you do it. You got it, Trevor? Yeah. Thank you. Ah. Okay. As good as she gets. Do you need yeah. bubble? Yeah, do you need bubble? 3D bubble. Do you want a bit of zoom on that? Okay. Winch control, pay out one meter. Oh, oh one gosh. Meter. Wonderful. Oh, okay, you are wrapped around. around. Oh, it is around. wrapped, yeah. It's got to come towards you on starboard side. Is that uh, grip lock light on the master? I can't see it. Yes. Thank you. Just unhook it, Josh. You can just you fly from here now.
And fly it off. Fly yeah, it fly off. It. Yeah, fly it off if, uh, if you want. Yeah, that's all that's I got so reach. come off from there. Where are we going? Over to the other one? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm halted there, Dave. All right. I mean, I can keep trying if you'd like. No, you're good. Okay. No, no. Let's get this wire out of here. We'll come back to plug it in. It's not going anywhere. Okay, mate. Go ahead, you can do what you want with the arm now to get it right. I think we're good, we can go land over the other one. Careful not to pull that wire too tight. Yeah. It's just all the shit that's coming off the bottom of the sub, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not seeing it too well in the Sea King, so it's just visual for now. Yeah, we'll get it. Just off to the right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see it in Sea King now. It doesn't really matter if we pull and drag the Yeah, we can pull some, right? It's fine now. Yeah. Let me see where we're at. We should be, a should right, be there. right beside it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see the main gotcha. camp. How's your uh, delta for getting over there? Are you okay? We're good. Okay. I think we're okay. Yeah, 10, 15 meters apart, so. Yeah, Raj. Where are we hooking in? The middle. Just anywhere yeah, between in there. the two black stab spots. Seen it. Yeah. It's the exact same platform. That's even got a little yellow or an orange uh, thing. Thing. Yeah. Orange thing. Orange thing. <coughs> To let you know I'm not getting good hits on the uh, beacon anymore yeah, on, the, on the wire. It's going to be flopping around and yeah. probably twist it up. So. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hey, Mitt, you're good. I think you might have to get closer. Do you want to be closer? Well, yeah, I don't think I can reach. I can go closer. I think just a touch, please, Dave. Okay, I'll try that. Come just coming around with the camera. Roger. What do you need? I don't know. I need to get that. I mean, I'm not going to be able to grab it uh, and, and have it open. i got to bring it over to me. I was just going to pick it up and place it in front of me. Okay. Smart. Let me know if you need anything with this camera, mate. Roger. Uh, AJ, do you need to see liftoff? Uh, yeah. um, I'm just worried about that twist in the cable, like ripping the beacon off or something, if we come up too fast. I don't know. I mean, the beacon's well above. Well, but once the Oh, yeah, that's right. On, we put 25 meters on the beacon. Never on. mind. You're right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I forgot. You might, oh, like, worst case I can see off. would be a hockle in it. <sighs> yeah, it's not great, though. 
It's not a strength problem, it's more just like a... Can you uh, center that up in the camera, please? Come, in, come in, come in. He's coax in the main cable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. alright. Yeah. Sorry, mate. That's as far as you go, I'll have to move this up, I think. It takes some tilt down if you got it. Very no. little. It's really slow. That'll work. I mean, I don't know. We won't want to do anything okay. from here anyway, yeah, so maybe just get out of dodge and then up slow. Yeah. Oh, closer shot, Josh? Uh, no. Thanks, Ed. All right. No worries. Where do you think, Rennie, where do you think the wire is hanging versus where the platform is right now? Because what I'm thinking is if we get out of dodge, tell the ship to move right, directly above it, we don't even watch. We just set them up for success. Uh, I you mean, honestly, I think we, that we just pull it where it is. We don't move the ship anywhere. It's going to come in this direction, and we just we just pull as far as we can. So. We'll definitely pull as far yeah. as we can, yeah. If, they, if you guys are fine with not doing a direct pull, that's fine. Yeah, no, I mean, that's fine. I'm in super small angles, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Sit back enough so you can see it lift off and move away. There's, there's no issue there. Yeah, cool. It might drag it a little bit, but... Yeah. It, the, with, the, with how fast they can winch up, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, Raj. Josh, are you trying to concentrate on something? No. Keep talking, guys. <laughs> Actually, I honestly do prefer it if you guys would talk. We'll talk about you and your abilities. Yeah. I love this overhand grip. Uh, okay, Mr. Ed, I will take his zoom now, please. Got a little, a little tilt up. On the camera tilt up. Thank yeah. You. That's good there, Ed. A little compound move. Thank you. How's oh, that? That's lovely. I hooked one of these when they had the center metal part small enough. You couldn't just drop the hook in. You had to like weave it through. Uh, yeah. Even this one's not. Doesn't give you a ton of room. No. It's no fun for you if you make it easy for us. No. There you go. Yeah. Nice one, mate. Well there done. You go. Nicely done. Yeah. How do I get it to not just drop up? If I let this go, you think it'll snap close fast enough? Yeah. Hopefully. All right. I think yeah, because the jaw's over the hook. There we go. Nice, nice work. Oh, more paint. Came yeah, you kind of chipped the paint off. Though. I did that twice. Minus ten points. Yikes. We're gonna have okay, to stop Ed, calling them pink coats. Full wide again, please. Coming out. Thanks, mate. Full, full wide. Stand by. I will put this guy. Well, let's just look at the lay of that cable. Um, just want to make sure we don't drag this over position. the other yeah. one. Hydraulics yeah. are off to the RV. Just let's check to see if it's over that parking position mm -hmm. in case we need to bump it. No, it looks fine. Looks like yep. it'll drag back. Yeah. Do you want to? You want me to pick it up before you so get out of there? What I do is pick up a meter, pick up two, nice and slow, and just until you get the clump just coming up out of the water. And then we'll get out. Out of the mud, and then I can back off. Yeah. Okay. And as the clump comes away, he's lifting as we're backing out. Okay, see sure. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Raj. But that way you get to see the yeah. spin in that cable as Understood. well. Winch control van, haul in two meters. This is a potential gotcha. I think your camera's not square to the vehicle. That might mess up your day. Mm-hmm. You can do a bump down and square it up if you want. Yeah, that's going to stay in until the load comes on. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. coming up. Okay. Yeah, you put a load on that, it'll come out, but it's going to be a little bit muddy. Should have had a swivel on there. Should have. Uh, uh, yeah. I think there is a swivel. I think it's below there. Okay, yeah. mate, you're good to go. Winch, control van, haul in five meters. Hauling in five meters. I've lost it. Got him on sonar. About 14, 15 meters in front. Roger that. There's the one on the, on the deck, and that's where your clump and all is. He's starting to move away now. Yeah, okay. right. 
We'll get visual. I could just have them keep coming up, I guess. Yep, we're 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 well clear. Yeah, okay. should be all good. Winch control van, haul in continuous. What are you doing, Dave? Keeping an altitude, keeping a certain. Yeah, I'm, s I'm just sat at six, six, six meters, mate. Okay, we're at 30 delta. Roger, thank you. Roger. I think they see it. it. Must be like Solus tape or something like that. Get my sonar dine up it, here. Do it. Don't keep quit talking about it. Do it. Winch control van, please haul in. There yeah, you go. There you go. All right, let's. I want to see this beacon reactivate. That'd be great. Reactivate. Yeah, he's, he's on the move. Yeah. We got package moved a little bit. Maybe hard to say. <laughs> Maybe not. All right, now it's moving. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's get the okay, heck out of here. Okay, clear the surface. Winch control van, package is off bottom, continue hauling in, it's all you. I still am not communicating with it acoustically, which is interesting, but yeah. hopefully that picks up. It's an omnidirectional beacon. Right. AJ, how was that attached to the wire? Two host clamps. Okay. No not three, eh? Right? Couldn't spring for the third, eh? Mm. Yeah. What do you think? We're made of money? Yeah. Budgets yeah. are tight. I do. Well, oh, maybe we'll go find it on the seafloor. After that. We acquired those uh, clamps in our fiscal 1997 budget. They should be in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, not hauling in a lot. No, could, uh, maybe the level wind. The level yeah. wind. It's going to be worse coming up. Than it was mm -hmm. down. Uh, how far do I mean? Speaking of dodging and hecking out of. Can you ask them how much they lift it up? I just want. Is it is it off the bottom? You know. I don't. Or? I don't think they've got any more than 20 meters. Okay. The package is off. The package the is off because we don't yeah. see it. Right. Oh, it's still on sonar here. Yeah. 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 Uh, is that the new one? That could be. No. Roger. Winch control van, please let us know when you've passed 100, 100 meters off the bottom. Keep going though. Please keep hauling in, and please inform us when you have passed one zero zero meters off of the bottom. Huh? What? Okay. Hmm. Why was that? Is that tricky? Is that a tricky statement? I don't think so. Okay. They are hauling in. We got part of that. If I put Cam Starboard up there, you'll have a better view of what they're doing. But it's go not. for it if you want. I do like seeing his hands. Yeah, no, it's not uh, way out of whack. It's just, oops, sorry, it's nighttime. That? Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Still no beacon pingy. No beaconage. No beacon pingy. Ooh. Big red. Yeah. I don't so think we could, we uh, if you spin around, Dave, you could pull Atalanta all the way out of the way. Sure. Might make sense. To the west. Sure. Yeah. West or southwest or follow your dreams. I didn't think we put 25 meters in the dirt there. Like the beacon should have still been. I, I agree. I don't, I don't know. think we put 25 meters in the dirt, no. We didn't see it. So, and the number of yeah. twists in there was not 25 meters. The last time we heard from it was 930 seconds ago. That doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> 15 minutes. That could be two minutes or a thousand. 15.5 minutes. God, you're so off. <laughs> you're so, yeah, so off is, your game. Price is right rules, price is right rules so, yeah. and you're, oh, you're, yeah. you're good. Yeah, it's always price is right. <laughs> big, uh, big ray. Oh, yeah. big ray, yeah. There you go. Cool. Comes back to that question I saw earlier. How deep do you find stingrays? Just no. Go ahead. Go for it. Keep coming up. Roger. 
keep hauling up continuous just to let you know we do not have acoustic comms with the beacon so all you with the payout Kate. 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 what's that captain on the tugger say k captain on the tugger or maybe it was a mate i don't know he would k can you move uh 20 meters north so we're okay Kate. pulling on Kate. it like this with us this big a delta yeah say it one more time we're okay pulling with this big a delta, we're still okay yeah, pulling, that's, yeah? that's fine, yeah. Have you still got your laterals and all on? I sure do. You can do whatever you want with them. Kill them, keep them on. I'll well, say reasons. why not Why not to keep them on for now. Sure. Sure, would like that beacon. Ready? If yep. I hear one more thing about that beacon, I swear. <laughs> it's the only thing I have control over, and I don't have control over it. <laughs> We switched to old. Old. Yeah. old. That's a thousand seconds. <laughs> I guess we're if that's old, old what does that make us? <laughs> so old. So old. We How should talk thousands? to Jake about that. How many Jake units is a thousand seconds? Because <laughs> he's young. <laughs> okay. Okay. Lock it up, everybody. <laughs> Hey, nice job, guys. That was pretty tough. That yeah. Was, uh, yeah. That was a wild ride. Yeah. Thing. Really nice so. job. And we're not completely out of the woods yet, but yeah, yeah. we still got a beacon to hunt for. Well, yeah. so there's woods? <laughs> Where are the woods? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some nice comments from people online. They're very impressed. Cool. Nice comments. Someone yeah. said this should be a video game. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm all out of quarters, though, so that's why Dave's flying. I keep getting reset to level one. Just earn the quarters here and then yeah. go home and play Every time you get hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> this one has this. This one does not have the... Uh, too bad. We had one time where there was a piece of fishing gear that just arced. And so you couldn't see it at all. And we just drove right under it. And it was caught up in the 6.8. So that, to, that was a whole ordeal. to get undone with that. Just got caught up. Figuring out what was the problem was... Like, why are we not moving? <laughs> you know, that's we do a lot of the fish farm inspections with the Falcon oh, yeah? around the coast. And that's standard operating procedure. Drive until you can't drive. Yeah. Just come back and figure it out. Come back. Yeah, yeah. We're stuck under how many different of those? Yeah. yeah. You can't see yeah. the field of view of the Falcon. Eyeball operations. Yeah. 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 We were, I was laying t cable in Alaska a week and a half ago, and I flew under the cable while we were laying it. So, you know. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. When we lost the vehicle a couple of years back, that was definitely, we were like trying to figure out how that could have happened because we were laying the cable at the time. It was a, the timing of it, it was at the right moment that it was a question of like, right. what, what could we have like, done, you know? Could we, uh, yeah. yeah, but it, yeah, we quickly sorted that out. Right. <clears throat> we, we definitely flew under, uh, under Wally's cable at one point. Uh, oh, yeah. That's easy to do. Yeah, it's not hard. You just go there, fly under the cable, unfly, un fly I back under. Umbilical shackled off to an oil rig at 75 meters by a diver. Oh, Didn't like it? What'd you do? I have no idea. I got him back though. Yeah, yeah. I got him back. I pulled his line <laughs> when I was down there. Almost. <laughs> yeah, we're flying away, heading off to one of the wellheads on the seabed, about 160 meters, whatever. And Big work class, 150 horses flying along, and all of a sudden the thing just went like that. Mm. Wouldn't go in anywhere. Oh, God, it flew back, and the diver sitting there on the on the horizontal like that, arms folded, and you can see the bubbles with it from the bubbles. He's just howling, laughing, and he pointed. A big ass shackle, and he's put it around and put the umbilical in it. Thanks for a good story now. Yeah. <laughs> if I was a diver, I might do that. Get yeah. <laughs> well, they're, they're just jealous. A couple of days later, he was out on the rig yeah. and he's, he's working away 50, 60 meters. He had a big Broco torch going, so it's really noisy, loads of flashing lights. But it kicks off a load of bubbles, so we could see it really clearly on sonar. So I turned all the lights off on the ROV and then came right up. In behind him, <laughs> and we have a this thing a Gemini sonar, so I could get the manip out and open valves in zero vis with the manip. Yeah, 
So we had that out. And I literally had one of the lads standing there on the light switches. And I tapped him on the shoulder with the minute. And then all the lights come up. <laughs> broke old torch gone. He fell off the platform. All sorts. Oh, my God. <laughs> never, never saw him again. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I got his stateroom, too. Yeah. <laughs> I got his boots. <laughs> oh, brilliant. You, you, you can't do that kind of thing anymore, though. You just I don't know that you could do it, it then. <laughs> I don't know if you could talk about it anymore. What's yeah. the statute of limitations? Yeah, exactly. They keep changing that. Oh, yeah. Roger that. Yeah, go. Yeah. Yep. But we used to have build a, a swim step onto the back of the ROVs. Oh, yeah. So when the divers would come out of the bell and they needed a lift in big currents, they'd hold on to the side of the little handrails bit built oh, really? the side. They'd hold on to the side of it and we'd give them a lift to the Oh, that's side. crazy, yeah. With the thrust thrusters spinning wow. and everything. It's wild. I hope we have spaghetti for lunch. It's all right. It's, we, had, we can use it to try and figure out what the heck we did with that Atlanta. Set uh, Good, good, good. Audio path. Check one, two, three, four, five, six. Audio good. Van temp. Everybody comfy? 70 degrees, quite human tolerable, one hour timer. So can we do a quick status update on what the plan is now, what we're doing next? Yeah, AJ. Oh, see, oh he is back there. Sure, yeah, so once the platform is on deck and uh, squared away, we're gonna head back down to the new platform. We'll take coordinates. Then we'll go find the free connector end that we dropped earlier, uh, and we'll run it over to the new platform and plug it in. And that's really it for the dive. Is the next uh, the next dive intended to be rendezvous with Tully? I believe so. Catch some bubbles. Yeah. I think the next dive is actually going to be at Bullseye, so we're going to start with a whale fall. Roger. Whale fall at Bullseye. We have some intricate instructions for doing the video of the whale fall. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, they're doing some photogrammetry, huh? Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah, so we've got to sort of drop markers and then fly like a... a Keyframe path? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. in a little on this camera and hide the housing, the misaligned housing. Uh, maybe a bit more. Beep. There we go. Looks like it's working pretty well. Yeah. That's good. We just waiting for them to get this thing up so they don't drop it on us. It's fine. I can't had be that, that happen before. I'm sure. Something dropped on you? A load of riggers. We're doing a jacket install. 
No. It was a repair job on a riser in Mumbai High. And I'm so obviously we are inside with the ROV diver. We cut the riser away. And then we watch as they put the rigging through and lift it away clear. So they lift it away. I get on the comms, ask if I'm clear to come back out from inside the platform. I fly out and then I hear all the swearing. <laughs> and next thing the lights in the ROV went out. I'm like, uh oh. So divers go down and they have a look. And the ROV's in the seabed like this. With a riser sticking out of it. Uh. Right. 55, 60 meters worth of riser. Just with that. Oops. So they rig it all up again, they lift it. The ROV writes itself. Looks okay, so clear all the divers away, whatever else, and turn it on. Up she goes. Turn on the lights, crash bars all buckled, falling off, the sonar's falling off. One of the arms is mangled, but flew it back. Mm. Nice. Recovered it on deck, straightened everything up, stuck a new sonar on, and off she went again. Wow. There you go. Unbelievable. Right through the top of me crash bar. We have a question about when the whale fall dive will happen. I think that's TBD, maybe tomorrow, later tonight. I don't want to make any promises, um, but we're not too far from that site, so the dive will probably start this evening. Yeah, stay tuned to Nautilus Live for updates. Everything is fluid out here. We've also got a sweet comment from Dirk's niece and nephew are tuning in. They said you guys cool. are awesome. Nice. I'll go wake up Dirk and tell him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will relay the message. I didn't know Dirk had any siblings. It's his niece and nephew, Ella and Theo. Wow. Hopefully he has a sibling to have <laughs> a niece and nephew. <laughs> are you guys on 12 to 12? Yeah, so is he, is he, yeah. He should oh, be on. Yeah, he'll be yeah. on in a minute. He's coming. He's coming. coming. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. Half hour. Oh, is this the part of the ship where I gotta deal with Dirk for three hours? That's right. Your oh, favorite part uh, of the day. Green. No, I'm not taking that back. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'd be here when you get oh, only for an hour, right? No. How's that work out? When you guys come back on watch? We're on until three. We're three to three. And then when you return at three, I guess you're with AJ then. Okay. Yeah. Got to ease them into the day, you know? Can't right. start with Dirk. <laughs> Nine hours prep to work with Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Dirk's niece and everything. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great guy. But you should tell your uncle he wears his pants too tight. <laughs> I think he's got a. I think he's got a complex now because of uh, the ridicule. <laughs> he comes in with just I the I see him constantly pants. like pulling at his pants. Got <laughs> 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 Just overalls, like huge overalls. Huge. Nobody's kinda, saying anything in the dark. He's going through something. He's got right his now. belt at mid thigh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Well, hopefully there's a beacon on this thing. <laughs> yeah. If there's not, we'll go find it. I don't know what's worse, the fact that it's on there and stopped working, or... What would be worse, I guess, so. In the, in the mud and... How long is the battery supposed to last on those? More than... Quite long, yeah, yeah. The rest of your rental? <laughs> it, was, it was charged at, like, 88% when I checked it, and I handed it back to them and said they should charge it. And yeah, they did charge it. Yeah, uh, so it should be... That was in October. Yeah. <laughs> I was stressed though, so it was on the whole time that we were messing around with that sea cache. Yeah, it was all the way down, all the way down. Yeah, it was it was there 
same depth as Atalanta for it's only the last 15 minutes. Wonder if there is a secondary loop. You know how we saw that loop at the oh, bottom. Oh right. Yeah, there's another they twist up. One up higher up. Well, we might find it on the seafloor. Yeah. We know it's last known position. 1.8 million seconds ago. What's the next category of beacon uh, after old? Any? Need to have like four stratas. Yeah. Yeah, in five minutes it'll be ancient. Ancient, yeah. yeah. Then it goes right to paleo. <laughs> Edison. yawning. No sleep till Sydney. So AJ, if everything goes smoothly, are we looking at three or four more hours or do you have an approximate estimation of how long it'll take to do our remaining stuff? After 3 p.m. I think, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> three, oh one. three or four more hours. Yeah. It's a pretty good estimate. I mean, it's probably, what, two hours up with no transects. So, yeah, everything goes well. An hour of work still on the seabed. I think Great. it's reasonable. What time do we start the dive this morning? Uh, I have it on a uh, sheet 230. here. 2.30? Yeah, but 2 something like that, 2.40, 2.30, 2.45. I was here for like that. I'm looking on a sheet, but I was on deck putting it in the water. <laughs> and we guessed I 10, 10 to 12 hours. UTC. So. <clears throat> what time was that, John? 9.47 UTC time. So. 2.45. Yeah, 2.45. One, yeah, yeah one, it would have been 2. Yeah. Uh, so we're running a bit late. remember what the delay was. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember any snacks. We got a yeah. question about watch schedules and uh, typically on Nautilus we do do four hour watches. On this one we have three different watch schedules. By lottery. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. So we will have people switching out here in the next 15-20 uh, minutes. And some people stay in. And some people stay. Yeah, I actually got my shift schedule from losing a game of rock, paper, scissors. So oh, that's man. True. Yeah. I've got a really nice watch schedule because I just work, oh, what is it, 8 to 12 in every launch and recovery. That's cushy. Until uh, I get my team up to speed on doing those. Seems to be on the same schedule as Ed. Yeah. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of you <coughs> lately. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind. I'm amazed when you're working like that, like a 20 minute nap feels like a solid eight hours. It's, uh, I think it's hit or miss. Sometimes it feels great and other times you, I you think don't it, know what year it is when you want I think up. it's where you are in that sleep schedule when you, or sleep yeah. cycle. When you wake up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I was doing all the, I used to do a lot of yacht racing. Yeah. And they 
the recommendation whenever you're doing like trans-ocean races is no more than 45 minutes sleep at a oh. time if you can't get at least three hours. Okay. Right? Oh, yeah. Because it stops you dropping into REM sleep and it's waking up out of REM sleep that's the problem. Yeah. It's very, very difficult to do. I wouldn't think you'd be doing very well in those sailing races with, what was it, 150 horsepower ROV? <laughs> <laughs> that's what's driving that's what's dragging it along you're hooking Achoo! anchors on your competition <laughs> yeah. coming up behind the it they have coming a up below a bolt on an anchor <laughs> sea anchor yeah. do you see that thing down in Gibraltar where the orcas are biting the, or the rudders off of the sailing boats Yeah. what an interesting behavior that is Do they know why? Well, there's... I think it's vengeance. Yeah, they, there's... Uh, I can't tell if you're serious. I, I am. No, I, I've heard that there was a calf that was hit by a vessel. Uh, and now the pod... I don't know if it's one pod. That would totally make sense. One pod going around and they found it. I believe that's what it is, isn't it? I, yeah. I believe so in one it's place. It's a specific group. Yeah. Uh, one, one fisherman had it happen twice. Or maybe he's a sailor. And he said the first time he could hear him chattering, you know, that through the hole whale sound for a bit and they said the second time they just came up no time at all and snapped it right off and they've sunk three vessels now wow it's a different charge if they deliberate about it you know it's yeah kind of planned yeah. out yeah no they were <laughs> chirping to the jaws theme <laughs> <laughs> Ed, you've seen the uh, the thing about the orcas and off the coast of South Africa attacking great white great yeah. white sharks. Oh yeah, <clears throat> like surgical precision, precision, just like ripping out one organ and for then the leaving. Liver, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so Specifically crazy. Specifically for the liver. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like the dolphins with the uh, the, the puffer fish. The puffer fish emit a toxins that's. Uh, uh, inebriating to dolphins. So they'll pick up a puffer fish and just bounce it around amongst themselves. <laughs> dolphins getting hammered on puffer fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Just sitting at the bar drink, <laughs> drinking another one? Just sitting at the bar scrubbing a puffer fish. <laughs> There's something about that just really tickles my fancy. Well. Somebody's got to draw a cartoon. Of, like, <laughs> Are you, in a bar. you can actually find a scuba video of that. It'll probably end up on that door fairly soon. Yeah. Rennie, how's that beacon doing? Dead. <laughs> Dead. That's the that's the next one after old. Dead. Oh, no, wow. it's just it's still not doing anything. Uh, dive chief to lab. Maybe being run through that block at 60 meters per minute will fix it. <laughs> <laughs> or lounge, dive chief to lounge. Oh, right, yeah, I could do that thing. You trying to reach out down there, oh, AJ? No luck? Trying to get somebody. Go wake up Jeb. Copy. Lounge, lounge, video. Yeah, I just got voicemail. <laughs> uh, well, I got data lab. I can have someone uh, go grab them. A lot of people are probably at lunch right now. You want to walk up? You need them? Um, yeah, he wants to be awake when this package comes out of the water. Roger, stand by. Data lab, data lab, video. Sean, when did we start lifting this thing? Okay, so it should be out soon. Um, uh, 
Hey Trevor. Hey, I just missed you. That's all. <laughs> nice. Can, can, can you can you radio Doug and have him go wake up Jeb? What do you you want me to do something? You guys got the radio. <sighs> deck control. Deck control. Deck control, deck control. Yeah, we have a request from AJ for Doug to get Jeb. He wants to be on deck when this package arrives. Roger, thank you. That's what you wanted, right? Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Did you copy that, AJ? Um, they're 10 to 15 minutes from the surface to the surface. Yeah, that's great. Okay, but if they could still go wake Jeb. Yeah, yeah. I don't. She said she would get him, but. Well, I think she should go now. Yeah. What do you. What? 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 Um, I'm ready. I'm sure, I think we're both good, Trevor, whatever you want. If you want to sit out. Well, maybe we should get uh, Dave at least a little experience on this arm and this, and then, uh, yeah. And then after that, I think it's transex, so whatever. I think so. Rennie, why don't you just focus on that beacon? <laughs> that you're beacon. calling, you're calling it? No, I don't know. We'll find out when we... When we find out? We'll find out when we find out. Cool. Trevor, the last we figured was maybe there was another loop-de-loop -loop up by the beacon. Yeah, could have could have done something. Nothing like a loop de loop. Yeah. Nope, that's all him. I don't know. I don't know why he does that. I don't do it. I don't touch that stuff. You walked out of the room. I yeah. change everything every time you leave. Just slightly. I inverted all the images in the salvos too. <laughs> See. They're all mirrored somehow. Yeah. I think I actually have that capability, thanks for the idea. It's not the Paro. It's not. Mm -hmm. Stop telling me what it's not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> just We just want to know what it is. Just turn that thing on and off. Roger that. Good thinking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah start thinking. with what it is. Yeah. Start, start. <laughs> and then you can mess with the stuff it's not. Yeah, it's like that there. silly s saying, it's always the last thing you check. Yeah, so go. Oh, unless you insist so on continue check, check, that. check that first. <laughs> what were you going to check last? <laughs> you want to do a DDL reset or what? Yeah, now that you. How do you. S what's the shortcut for side tone? Uh, uh, top right button. Thank you. Oh man, I'm 
running out of adjectives. Help me understand now. Oh, there or we go. Check. Actually, test, test, test. Hello, me. Plus 40. Sounds good. Hey, Ed. Yep. If I wanted to turn off the Herc Zeus, yeah. could you uh, set yourself up for non-catastrophic failure for streaming to shore or whatever you want to do to make that less weird? Yeah, I'll switch over to, oh, you know what? Uh, we can't with ONC. Okay. Uh, it screws Contract. up their, their metadata. Uh, they, can only, they can only have one source per <coughs> for uh, each file. And so yeah. Will it go black if I turn it off or will yeah, it recognize? Yeah, it'll go black. And is that okay for you or for the uh, contract? So, I mean, I don't know about that part. That would be an EL question. Okay, Roger. Yeah, but uh, we just make a note in our imaging log when it goes black. So cool. You trying to chase that fault? Yeah, just see. Um, we have some time right now. It would be a good use of that time. Yeah. But uh, if it's going to impact stuff too much, it no, doesn't really I, matter. No, I think you can, you're just going to do it for five seconds and bring it back up, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 okay. 
I mean, we're trying to shoot troubleshoot an ROV issue. I think that's for a game. Hey, back row. Hello, back row. Just want to let you know that the Herc Zeus will go dark for about 30 seconds or so. Not to be alarmed. That's just going to happen. Okay. We trust you. Okay. Thanks. Right at lunchtime too, that seems perfect. Just be downstairs and be like, what's happened? Dead bear. Oh, it's all good. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Uh, 12 seconds ago. Half a second ago. Okay, I'll turn it back on. Everything's fine. Okay, all good, all right. Ed. Thank you. Yeah, I'm back and I have control of the camera. Roger. Bubble cam secure. Watch change of video. Roger that. Perfect time to be turning the cameras off. Not bubble. It's not the crafts. <sighs> well, that's the wrong button. That's better. CTD, Niskins, oh yeah, sure. So it's just CTD and camera grid and markers. I, I don't know what bubble catcher is. It's a bucket and a funnel. Oh, that's right. Yep, yep. Perfect. I love that it's stuff as far out of view as possible, also a bunch of stuff. So that's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, Roger. You put it over there and wait for 15 minutes or four hours or whatever. Yeah, cool. Why is that a two wire ops thing? Oh, sorry, two ship ops. It's not. This is this is
is, yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, okay, we've just done a watch changeover for some of the people right now, so can we get a status update on what's going on right now? Okay, well, our scientists stepped out of the room for a second, so we might take a moment for status. Oh, you want status for me? Oh, sure, Megan. Um, so we are just sitting in the water column waiting for our second wire to be recovered. That should be shortly once we get that on deck. Um, we're gonna check out and see if we, uh, what we need to do next but that's what we're waiting for. That's why we have blue water, is okay. uh, we need to be pulling uh, Hurricane Atalanta away from the wire that we're recovering so we can avoid entanglement. Okay, great. And are we in the process of ascending? Megan, do you know? Hmm? What was that? Are, are we in the process of ascending? Um, no, we're just a couple meters above bottom. Oh, okay. We're just not looking at the bottom. But if you look at our downward looking camera, which is in the lower right hand corner of your right hand screen, you yes. can see the bottom. That's what the winch says. I mean, you might as well wait like 30 seconds and then you'll see it at the surface if that would be great. Go ahead, back deck. Well, then we have transponder out of the water. We're going to go ahead and start our retrieval. Roger. Still on there. That's still on there. Good start driving here. Great. Yeah, we don't have to go back and see if we can find it. Now you have to figure out why it wasn't transponding. Yeah, it was transponding, then it wasn't. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it got flooded or something. Maybe. Weird. So. That looks happy. I'm not concerned with vehicle position affecting 6-8 enough to matter, so I think we're good to resume operations. Can I please see some action? Cool. Come here. This is so weird, isn't it? I think I'm down here. There you are. Thank you much. It's really laggy right now. Yeah, our, um, what's his name? Randy was saying that. Okay, we good to go? Yep, from our side, yep. Sweet. Beep, Video good. <laughs> Hi, Dirk. Hi, Josh. How are you today? Ah, this is good. Had a good sleep until nine. Nice. Must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> What's that like? Yeah. You can have a sleep until midnight, so. You can never sleep until two. Not the shift I'm on at all there, Dirk. That's fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, Dirk, we're going to go find the cable and plug it in. Is that the plan? Yeah, I think that's it. Um, AJ gave me a little schematic here on where to find it, but I think you are already familiar. I think so. So first, um, first step. Yeah, are you have you already looked at where the platform is, how it's sitting? What uh, was the last step there? Yes. Okay, we, so you know it's ready, it's available. We'll go by. It's on the way. So that's yeah, maybe if you can stop by it, get a position, get a um, orientation. We and have then a position. I don't know if we have an orientation though. So I'll just yeah, just no go problem. check it out. Start there. Love it. <coughs> When we get over there, I'm going to probably need a reset because I was fiddling with my Okay, sensors. yeah, no problem. You just we'll let me know when. Sure. You can do it anytime, but uh, we'll get a really nice yeah, one. Yeah, let's wait till the get USBL is <coughs> a little happier. Josh, are you in auto heading? Absolutely. Super duper. Thanks.
All right, let's go find ourselves a thingy me jigger. One thingy me jigger. <gasps> Twenty meters. Oh, look at away. those sea pigs. You good with the uh, thirty-six meter delta there, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> So when your shift left yesterday's dive, that that octopus that it that kind of jumped on the cable bundle, yeah. it came back. We were about two three meters off the, from the platform, and it came over and tried to grab stuff again. Yeah. Nice, greedy, pretty <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> that was its home. We didn't want you messing with it, stealing its good stuff. Yeah, he was all swell, or he just uh, somehow just ballooned or parachuted himself and just kind of sat next to the RV, looking very big. There was yeah. a skid there. That was a skid. Yeah. There's a platform. Or a platform, sorry. Yeah. Uh, where do you want me to line up to take a bearing on this deck here? Oh, Ulrike, what's, uh, FYI, what's the right angle do you want? Atlanta. I'm what? You're right under Atlanta. Roger. Whatever's oh, easiest for the ROV. <coughs> Copy that. I'll give it's you a connector board. panel. Yeah, just kind of square up to it. <coughs> just kind of. Slightly square. More or less square. We're gonna come back here and yeah, we're gonna f we'll get a rough and then get move on. I love this is a left-handed platform. It's kind of neat. <laughs> uh, that's good there. Nope, not quite yet. And that's good. What do we got? Three, two, three. Three, two, three. I'm wrong about that, but that's close enough. Good landing. The um, from here the connectors seem fine. Didn't get caught. No, nope, it seemed all right. And can we rest a while here while I grab coordinates? We'll come back. They'll come back. Okay, yeah. thank you. Are you talking to me? You talking to me? <laughs> uh, I just yes to our Vietnam team, I guess. Cause okay, we you want the ROV coordinates? Um, not for now. I would later on, or when we come back, we, I would like a confirmed position for the new P BPR okay. package. Sounds good. I can do that. Just let me know. Thank you. All right, Trevor, I'm going to reset your DVO. Roger that. Let's go grab a cable then. You're just in time for the action. <laughs> Perfect. That's your time to shine. They say the easiest thing to do is an ODI connector. Nope. No, they don't. That's not <laughs> what they do at all. I wonder if I can make it. 30 something meters from Atalanta to cable drop now. Seven meters off bottom. Who's flying this thing? <laughs> So many different cucumbers. You can make a salad. <laughs> okay, I think you can uh, reach out and touch Faith. Can you come full extra super wide on Herc Zeus, please? Oh, what? Roger that. Oh, sorry. Here, uh, hydraulics are on now. There mm -hmm. you go. Blue button's on. Blue button, if it, the blue light is on, you got hydraulics. Mm -hmm. There you go. <coughs> Let me reset up here.
Okay, go ahead whenever you want. I might need to get a little closer for you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, this thing is so light. It's the rocker switch right here. So you get continuous wrist that way, 360. Oh, now I took my hands off the controls. I gotta work back and I'm getting down here. <clears throat> okay, go for it when you can. It's the big, big trigger thing. On, on the same one on both sides, uh, both the top and bottom. That's like a midwater flying grab for your first one. Yep. Just throwing you right in the deep end here. <coughs> if you want me to just land, I'll just land. Okay. No, yeah, right. Try by fire. Or something. Nice. Lovely. So, there's a grip lock button on there too. I can promise you that it's definitely one of them. <laughs> um, this one inside? Click it. Nope. Uh, I think I think it's on the left. I don't know. I don't know. Yes. Click it. Click it again. Click it slower. Click it faster. Click it better. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. That did it. Yep. There we go. Got it? Okay. Mm -hmm. It just likes to be touched in a certain way. <clears throat> I think it's very picky. Yeah. And you can, I don't know if you're halted or not, but you can halt it. We're going to back this away, or back this up, and land it on the new platform. Trevor, how did you feel about the wire deployment? Any changes for next time? Um, no, but let me get back to you on that. Okay. <coughs> there was a lot that happened there. <laughs> yeah. not, uh, not a lot of it was your fault. So... Yeah, you need to sort through that, but it was overall pretty good.
over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Trevor, if possible, if we can, um, whatever is going to be better, but it's better if the cable is not. Oh, okay. Uh, you good there? Okay. Um, what's that? It's better if the cable is not resting on the platform. So okay. either we can move it after or before, whichever is going to be simpler for you. Okay. I think after, because we got to plug it in from here anyway. So. Yeah. And better to not land on it, I think. So just set this down on here for now, yeah. Yeah. First step will be remove the dust cap, and then second step will be. Uh, connect the thing. Oh, I can't even hardly land. It's so light. Light like a feather. <laughs> like I can't land. I gotta dig myself into the mud. Hold on. Well, you've got 35 on your delta, plus a fair bit of separation. Do you want me to come down a little? You could do, yeah. Could do. Coming down, I'll come down three meters. Or five even. Yep. So we're clear when we're ready to unplug the dust cap. It's a question for the back row. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're good to go. Thank you. It's gone. Should make it a bit easier on you. Right. And that's going to go into the box. It's going right? to go into the box. Yep. Okay. So you just ask what you need for camera, you know, whether position for me or zoom for video. Just uh, you say the word. What's up with the wrist? Uh, the right button turns it from continuous to gotcha. working with the okay. yeah. We did do it on the one down. <laughs> Man, this takes a bit of thinking about. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Got it. So once you get it close, I will. Actually, I can open it out right now. Yeah.
Everything's fine. Uh, oh yeah. She'll wiggle loose. No problem. <coughs> So you saw us do that Fletcher thing before, stick it in the front porch, the little thing we call the Fletcher? Yeah. Easiest is probably with the hockey pucks, fastest is from the, the connector paddle. So do what you think is best. So this is now going on into there, right? Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. I'm confused. I thought this was going on to that connector. Right. Okay, so grab the hockey puck and slide it into that. Thing. Yeah, you okay. Can do it handle, handle, okay. Well, let's try the hockey puck. Keep it simple. Looks like the package is out of the water. That's great. What am I doing? Sorry. It's all right, mate, because I'm all over the shop here myself trying to Roger. figure this arm out. Yeah, of course. Hopefully you got enough room. I can scooch back just a hair here. Let me do okay. that. That'll make it hard, easier for you. This is yeah. not no sense in fighting it. All right. Okay, try that on for size. The other danger with the hockey pucks is you can get your jaws down when it's like this so much that they hit on this. You might almost want to grab it this way. I should have told you that ahead of time. I didn't. So I set it back down and... Yeah, you can probably set it even on top of the plastic fingers, on top of the Fletcher. Might make for an easier next grab. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, great. I've got an idea, but it's just this section is completely different to what I'm used to. Absolutely. It 100% is. Done this, so. so, I can show you how I hold it if that's helpful. You can do with that in Winfo what you will.
Nope. Here. Show me. That's what I'm used to. But again, do what you do. It feels right. Just give that a whirl. So I'm grabbing, pinching this flat thing. That's your forearm, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, find the thing that works for you, but uh, that's the one that works for me. What's that? Why didn't I? Yeah, what Dirk said. He also wouldn't, he would get seasick. He's very soft. <laughs> he would get seasick. He wouldn't be able to climb the ladders. Yeah, I would, can only, only imagine if Fletcher was on here. Probably chaos. Yeah. But it would be cute. <laughs> Fletcher's the awkward combination of super rambunctious and clumsy, but also a little bit um, timid. So it's not a great combination. Aww. Perfect. That's not in, is it? Nope. nope. We take him on our sailboat all the time on trips, and uh, he's okay on there, but. Here. Take it. You want me to jump in? Yeah, There's a lot going on in this boat. Okay. It would be hard. Let me watch it. Yeah, there. Roger. Yeah. Instead of it all up. He's a pointer kind of breed, so he'll just sit and whine looking at the sh at the birds the whole time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whimper. He does. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's like, ah, oh, I see it. I can't get it. Yeah. <laughs> Barking at the birds. Come on. Do they Don't do fall better at balancing? He does great. Um, we like we take him. My wife takes him on the paddle board all the time, and he's on our little sailboat, fishing boat, stuff like that. He likes it. He doesn't complain. <laughs> just goes on the bow and looks for seals and birds to bark at. <laughs> Run, jump back in. No, no, come on. Come on, grip lock. There we go. Yep. What? Oof. More. More. <laughs> what is happening here? It's a little bindy. Yeah, why is it a little bindy? Am I hitting something? I think maybe, you know, I think you're pulling towards you maybe a little bit. <laughs> but it's weird that it's shaking like that. Yeah, I don't understand what's happening with that. Control van, control back deck, package and weights are back on deck. Grant's securing, ready for you guys to go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roger that. Um, we are plugging in something right now, so we'll let you know when we're about to cover, recover. So Trevor, we have an idea for moving cables around. At some of these dives, we're gonna have to pull cable bundles off bullhorns or move bundles of cables around on the seafloor. Okay. And uh, we're thinking, you know, those old 
Do you want me not to talk when you're doing this, or? No, go for it. Um, you know those sheep herding hooks? Oh, <laughs> do I, buddy? What's my last name? Hey, can you zoom in, please? <laughs> Video? Zoom in. Shepherd, for those listening. Um, but it's uh video please so. zoom in on her zeus yes sir thank you pretty much making the tool out of out of some ready rod half inch with a big hook on the end for grabbing bundles and moving no, them around out. come out a little bit please good there it was in and i pulled it out it's gonna be a shaky connection you're a shaky connection get out of here <laughs> zing okay full wide please I think I saw them connect, but... Oh, what? Do you want another zoom in, Dirk? Yes, definitely. Zoom um, in, please. Also, yeah, we have to be very sure because we can't check this through our system since it's all autonomous. Understood. Keep going in. This angle's just like... Full in. Tight. You got it. Right yeah, on those little that. tabs there. Looks good to me. Sure you want another looks angle? Good. Are you happy? Well, yeah, can we scooch to the left just slightly, just so I can confirm, Sounds but good. it does Full look great. wide, please. Or to the right, if that's going to make it easier to remove the cable. Yeah. Whichever one. Arm is not hot. Yeah. And probably not stowed very well. There's also a parking Sorry, position in the front porch. We're going to have to stow, but uh, we can uh, do that in just a moment. And just a reminder for yeah, the confirmed yeah, position, for please, while we are yep. here. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Was that for me? Uh, they just wanted to confirm heading and position, but... You got it? We'll do that once... Okay, we can... Start, we're going to set it down here. And we can confirm the position, but we already have the heading, right? You recorded that from... Okay. Okay, zoom in, please. Yeah, that looks great. That looks great. Okay, come wide, please. Man, this water clarity is so nice. Yeah. Why don't you have all of the sites out here? Right. I know, we should focus on only <laughs> sites like this. Let me just like ruin this. it, reminisce a bit about well, yesterday. Oh, there, we got a preview of yesterday. So, you want to get the little corner of the cable off the corner of the platform, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, first step, let's uh, put that parking position away. Do you want to do that right now? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Great, let's do that. So. What are we doing? So we're going to pull the parking position out of the Fletcher and put it in the toolbox. Okay. Meanwhile, just make as much mud as possible to make your life hard. Yeah. Can we grab it by the parking position itself? Yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. I'm not going to make my life easier with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it looks after, but I think it'll be fine. And yeah, watch that grip lock button. As you saw, and you saw it with me too, and you press it, it doesn't go. Um, and if you want me to look down and confirm, I can do that. But you keep your eyes on the screen, that's fine yeah. too. You know what, Trevor? I might have been a little jump the gun. Maybe just grab it by the hockey pucks. Grab it by the hockey pucks, Roger. We have time, there's no rush. So you it say. It may take a bit of time. This is the arm I have the most time on. I remember when I got to the Orion the first time, I was hopeless, utterly hopeless. Couldn't figure it out. <laughs> so is that the new style of knife you're, you're putting on the porch? Not the bread knives? Or is that bread like knife a... up on the left. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Was that a drywall knife? What's that thing called? Yeah, carpet knife, maybe? Carpet knife? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's a carpet knife. Car yeah, I With guess the it... tip rounded off. Yeah, I guess a drywall knife.